This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, now I'm back with a different question. Uh, this question was asked by one of my students and uh, actually interviewer asked this question and even I had a discussion with uh, one candidate recently, he also raised this question. So I thought, let me record a video on this. Uh, so let me uh, explain this uh, question first and then I'll let you know the answer. Theoretically and practically both. So what is the question? The question is, let's suppose there are two vendor account group. Say for example, A and B. Now we are having a vendor, let's suppose ABC Limited. So vendor ABC Limited has been created wrongly in account group A. However, generally it belongs to account group B. So now the requirement is to change the vendor account group. Okay, so here is the question. Is it possible to change vendor account group after creation of vendor master guys? So this is the question. Is it possible to change the vendor account group after creations because we have created this vendor in a wrong account group. Now you have to replace that wrong account group with the right one. So the answer is yes, it is possible. Okay, now I'll tell you guys how it is possible. It's pretty simple. We have to follow one step and with that it is going to be the account group is going to be changed. Let me log in first. Okay, so here the questions belongs to like we have to change vendor account group, right? Vendor account group we have to change. So what is the transaction code to change the vendor account group guys? It is XK07. By XK07, we can change the vendor account group. Press enter and give your vendor account number here. I've just given one vendor account number which is already created and then press enter. If you press enter, look at here, this is the vendor number. And what is the account group guys? This is SERV that is called service vendor. It means this is a service vendor. Now, what is the problem? The problem is like, let's suppose this ABC is a manufacturing vendor. Okay, it means from ABC we are going to procure some, uh, what to say, raw materials or something. So this was supposed to be created under manufacturing vendor, but it has been set up under wrong account group that is service vendor. So how to change the account group? Simply you have to press enter. Just press enter. Look at here. Now what is happening? The existing account group is SERV, that is the wrong one. What you have to give? You have to give the right account group. So here the right account group is manufacturing and here the account group code is MA and F. If you don't know, then you can search, click on this drop down button and you can search your account group. Now what you have to do? Press enter, simply. Press enter. So look at here. Now it is, it is going to be changed. It is going to be changed. How you can come to know that whether it is changed or not? Press Shift F8 button. Shift plus F8. Shift plus F8. Look at here. Now it is showing that the account group is what? Manufacturing. Okay. Just close it. Just close it. And save it. Okay. Now here, make it yes. So look at here, vendor, this is the vendor number, account group, SERV replaced by MANF, means manufacturing. Press enter. If you want to check it once again, you can open a new screen and go to XK, XK03 to display the vendor account number, use XK03 and here also give the vendor number. You can give your company code also if you want or is even if you don't give the company code also, it's okay. Just select address and press enter. Okay. And then shift F8. Shift F8. By that you will come to know account group, vendor account group. So look at here. 
this is the vendor account group earlier it was created under service now it is created under, under manufacturing so this is how we can change the vendor account group so now the question was is it possible to change vendor account group guys the question was is it possible to change vendor account group the answer is yes it is possible it can be changed by xk07 if the same question is related to the customer then it can be xd07 okay the same process same procedure is there but i'll tell you one more thing guys this is pretty simple question this is just a basic question if somebody has to justify three years three and a half years and four years of experience then i don't think that such kind of question is going to be asked by interviewer if i have to ask a question then here itself several different scenario can be created say for example say for example i have just given i have just quoted example of what i have quoted quoted example of uh, like service vendor and man, uh, this one manufacturing vendor s e r v this account group and we are having a manufacturing m a and f these two account groups are there right these two account groups are there and then then what is there guys then i am having a vendor i am having a vendor which vendor let's suppose abc limited okay so now what is happening guys generally if we talk about this service and manufacturing it means two different different accounts are there from few of the vendors we are going to procure services in the sense we are taking services so those vendors are going to be set up under service account group and from few, few of the vendors we are going to buy raw materials and other materials so those vendors are going to be set up under manufacturing okay now here for service let's suppose we have created a reconciliation account anything like let's suppose this is the reconciliation gl number it, it means reconciliation account okay what is this reconciliation account guys i hope you all are sap practitioner so you guys should know this right and here it is 2000 or it is 20000 make it 2003 itself 2000 2002 and 2003 okay so these are the the reconciliation account okay so it means if any vendor is going to set up under service account group against those vendor what is happening we are going to assign this reconciliation account that is 2002 and any vendor which is going to set up under manufacturing account group then it is 2003 reconciliation account is going to be set up now let's suppose you are having a vendor abc limited from that vendor we are procuring or we have to procure material also okay Let's suppose you have to set up a vendor ABC limited from that vendor that vendor is going to supply you material also and that vendor is going to deliver so it is going to provide you certain kind of services also. So now what will happen whenever this vendor is going to whenever this vendor is going to send you any material related invoices then what will happen then that invoice whenever you post a material uh, or raw material related invoices then that transaction should hit this reconciliation GL 2003. But whenever you post any transactions or service related transactions, then what is happening? The requirement is those during post while posting that transactions, that transaction is supposed to hit this reconciliation account. Okay. So now the question is: is it possible to assign two reconciliation accounts against one vendor, guys? That could be a question, right? This is a logical question, guys, and uh, sorry, uh, and here, like, people will ask such kind of, even several other scenarios also can be there, right? If I keep on explaining, it is going to take lots of time. We'll uh, try to record a separate video, and even the answer of this question also, uh, whenever, you know, I'm free, I'll, I'll record a separate video on this. So just think, just think that it is possible to uh, assign two reconciliation account against one vendor, so here, if you talk about vendor master, in vendor master, we can assign only one reconciliation account, right? So here, if you say yes, then the next question will be how it is possible. So you have to justify also. So be aware, guys, whenever you are giving, giving the answers, if you say yes, then the next question is going to be asked how. 
So if you know how, then only you have to say yes or else simply you say that I'm unable to answer this. So simply interviewer is going to change the track. If you say yes and if you are unable to justify in that case, again it is going to, you are going to get some negative marks. Okay, so these kind of several other scenarios also will be there. So what I'm saying that whichever question I have explained, if somebody is having three years, four years, or you know three and a half years of experience from those kind of um, uh, this much experienced people i don't think that uh, people will ask such kind of questions why because this is just a basic question okay uh, this question will be asked only if your performance is poor let's suppose i have given some scenario and uh, or, or or else let's suppose interviewer has given some scenario and candidate is unable to understand that scenario so candidate has not given any answer now what is happening interviewer will realize and they are going to produce the standard of the questions and they will ask some basic scenario even candidate is unable to respond or un unable to answer those kind of questions also then interviewer is going to ask some basic questions like what do you mean by document type what do you mean by uh, what to say uh, posting key right what do you mean by account group such kind of questions people are going to ask there will be certain gentleman who uh, is unable to respond or who is unable to answer such kind of questions also, then then interviewer is going to ask, okay, Dio, you let me know how to create a customer master, how to create a vendor master, or what is the transaction code to create a customer master, or what is the transaction code to create a vendor master. So now the candidate is pretty happy. Yes, sir, it's XK01 by which we can create vendor master. It's XK01 by which we can create customer master. So guys, do you think that the candidate is supposed to be happy because he has given the answer? I'll tell you guys, not at all. Why? Because interviewer is saying him, look at your face. This is your level. This is why I'm asking such kind of questions. It means indirectly the candidate is allowing him to make fun of him. So I'll tell you guys, don't do like this. Uh, don't leave up your faculty. Ask more and more questions. Okay and have some conceptual uh, you know, knowledge and give the logical answer always. Have a good preparation, then only go for interview. So that's all guys, that's all in this session. And uh, once again, I'll repeat, subscribe this channel to get notifications of, of all upcoming videos and updates. If you're looking for online training, then you can contact here at given number, you can visit my website also, kumarganshati.in. So that's all in this session, guys. Till then, just bye-bye and have a good day.